what's up everyone welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to give you a quick overview tutorial of the zoho flow platform and its different features and how to use it so zoho flow allows you to integrate different apps and uh, features and platforms in order to automate your tasks so if you scroll down here of course first you need to go to their website that's zoho.com flow you'll be redirected to their homepage. You need to create an account in order to use the platform. I already created an account and I'm signed in here. This is part of the Zoho suite of apps. So if you signed in uh, at another or if you used another Zoho uh, app, you should be able to sign in with the same account. Now, the sign up process on any Zoho suite app is pretty simple, straightforward, easy and free. And here, if I scroll down on the home screen, I can see a glimpse of how it works. So I can here add a new form entry. I can create a new lead, for example, in CRM, add the decision and uh, link it to the uh, ticket app creation and then notify me on a, an, ex an external application like Slack. So here, for example, you can see some uh, big companies that trust them and use their services and some of the apps here from the large variety of apps that they integrate with, for example, Slack, Shopify, PayPal, Zoho Desk and others. So, of course, they do integrate well with all the Zoho suites of apps, such as Zoho Desk, Zoho One, and um, the all the suite, and other uh, form-creating apps like JotForm, payment apps like PayPal, messaging apps like Slack, of course, e-commerce stores like Shopify, and so much more. And if I scroll down even more, I can view some features here, learn some features. I can build complex workflows here integrate different apps from different uh, websites into one workflow here. All of this is possible with Zoho Flow. So here, if you scroll down even more, you can see more information, more customer reviews, uh, more the more of the categories that you can use or can benefit from using Zoho Flow, such as in marketing, in sales, in customer support, HR, and so much more. And here, other features, other uh, workflows, uh, examples, and that is it. Now I can access the Zoho flow from here or access it from the top here. But before we access it, let's take a look at their pricing pretty quickly. And here you have two plans, the standard, which is 2417 uh, per month billed annually and the professional, which is 1484 per month billed annually, of course. And if you choose to pay monthly, of course, the prices will be a bit higher. Now, for the standard, you get up to 5k or 5,000 tasks per month. And of course, here you can uh, scale it up depending on your needs. So you can go up to 5 million tasks per month, of course, but the price will go higher. As well as other benefits such as 60 day flow history, 15 minutes polling and other benefits. Now, for the professional, you can go up as well in the uh, tasks here. However, you get more benefits such as 90 days flow history, five minutes polling and other benefits. Now you can compare all the features of the plans in all the categories like cloud integrations, on-premise integrations, logic and utilities, and so much more. And now let's get started with a free trial on the standard plan, for example. I need to fill in some basic information like the organization name, how to simple time zone okay date format looks good create now and here i'm redirected to my main dashboard so here i have my flows of course there are no flows because i just uh, access this account i can create a flow or create a folder in my dashboard right here i have my statistics of course zero total flows created and uh, pretty much it's all empty so let's go back again to my flows Let's create a flow. Let's name it, for example, test flow. And in the folder here, let's, okay, let's uh, let it in the home. I can create a new folder, add a description. This is a test flow. Okay. And I can create, or I can explore a gallery of pre-made or pre-built flow. So something like templates. Let's explore the gallery here. And here I can search uh, with apps here to see all the flows related to this app. So for example, um, let's take a look at ChatGPT. Okay, and I can create a post on WordPress using ChatGPT. So uh, link the RSS feed to ChatGPT and WordPress and add the post 
that is generated by ChatGPT automatically on WordPress. Okay, let's select another app here. For example, I can select um, Dropbox. Okay, so now ChatGPT and Dropbox. And they'll give me all the uh, feeds here, or all the flows that are related to ChatGPT and Dropbox. So I can send a Zoho click message about a new file, for example. I can create a Dropbox folder here for this flow with Zoho projects and Dropbox. So uh, once I create a new project on Zoho projects, it'll add automatically create a new folder in Dropbox. Okay. So and on each platform that I choose, it gives me like quick information here and triggers and actions and so much more. Okay, let's uh, select another platform. Let's, for example, select frame.io. Okay, and uh, here I can create a new project on frame.io for any sheet I create on Zoho Sheet. So let's actually use this flow. And here, of course, I can always create my own flow with the own apps that I use. And once I've clicked on use uh, this automation or use this flow, here I'm redirected to the flow customization page. Now I can customize the both aspects here, the trigger and the result. So here, once I create a new row on uh, Zoho Sheet, I can uh, create, it'll automatically create a new product on frame.io. So let's configure the uh, row creation or the Zoho Sheet uh, part. Now the connection, I just named it test connection. I can add a new connection if I want to. Uh, the variable name, I named it trigger. Now here in the spreadsheet, I only have one spreadsheet in Zoho Sheet, which is the net worth finder. And now I need to select or choose a worksheet or a tab in the sheet here. Let's choose net worth. And here done. Okay, continue. So that means once I create a new row in the uh, spreadsheet and the tab that I determined, a new project will be created in frame.io. Let's configure the cre uh, project creation aspect. So configure. And first and foremost, I need to connect my frame.io account here in order to for Doho to be able to accomplish this. So I click on connect here. I can choose a connection name. Let's re rename it uh, test to connection. And here the developer token from the frame.io in order to finalize the connection. So let's cancel it for now. And here I have the variable. So I have the insert row variable from Zoho Sheet that I did create. Or I have other system variables that I set by default. Uh, like, for example, the current date and current date and time. So I'll just leave them as it is. I can search for uh, new variables here if I want to. So let's uh, search for system, for example. And here it is the system variable. And if I search for time, it opens up the system variable. Uh, again, now here I have the new row under uh, here creation row creation of Zoho sheet. Now the create new row in the spreadsheet, which is the net worth. And this is uh, the worksheet here uh, type. Now, once I finalize this connection, I have done or I have uh, created this automation. So once I finalize the connection and click on done, the automation will be created. And once I create a new row in the spreadsheet that I selected, a new project will be created on frame.io. So that's pretty much it. That's how easily it is to use the Zoho flow in order to create automations between two applications or more.